act while stocks fell on the news yesterday. What is the likelihood that we could see these proposals pass? Who would be harmed by them? And who could be the potential beneficiaries? Joining me now, Jason Trenard is chairman of Strategus Research Partners, a Baird company. And Mark Smith is senior vice president and portfolio manager at UBS Wealth Management. Welcome to you both. So, Jason, what do you think this will likely shake out as, uh, as it works its way through Congress? Well, Kelly, I think ultimately it's, it's not probably going to be the top rate at 43.4 percent. It'll probably be watered down because people will start to talk about what the optimal uh, rate is uh, for government revenues. I do think for this administration, I, I think as you were pointing out, there's an extra element of, of tax increases, an extra consideration, which is not just raising taxes to raise revenue to pay for government spending, but there's also um, a social justice angle to yeah. a lot of this stuff, which means that at the margin, they'll, they'll be, in my opinion, a little bit more willing to raise taxes. Um, I think it's also important to note, though, that this would be coming in the context of, of increases in corporate income taxes and uh, an increase in the top marginal income tax rate. It's very different than what it was in 1986, uh, when you had an increase in capital gains taxes, but you had very significant reductions hmm. in the top marginal income tax rate and um, the tax rate on corporate profits. So this, I, I think as a whole, I think part of the reason why bond yields have stopped going up and the dollar's been weakening, in my opinion, over the last month, is that people are starting to fear that this may um, sterilize some of the, the stimulus that's yeah. already put in place. And that's a really important point because what you're suggesting is that the bond market says this actually will will undermine some of the growth potential included in some of the other plans. Again, I know we're, we're reading a lot into a few basis points, but that it's kind of moving in that direction. Mark, the really interesting thing about the muni market is that it's absolutely salivating at these prospects. So the worse the tax burden looks, the more that state and local governments and stadiums and all go, great, that means more and more investors will want to come finance our projects, and maybe that's how we end up getting an infrastructure bill passed unofficially. I think that's right, Kelly, and welcome back. Um, I think that the muni market hasn't seen this type of environment in quite a while. You're seeing a lot of t uh, tailwinds. You're seeing that the Fed and tre Treasury since last year has showed, said they're going to have uh, continued support for the space. Then you've got the fact that we're going to raise taxes, uh, and that means more revenue. Uh, and then you've got an infrastructure bill in the $2 trillion range. That's primarily going to benefit states. And so there you have another um, added benefit there. And then finally, you know, Treasury yields um, they, uh, should be insulated due to the yield spread and scarcity of munis. I'm trying to find you know, so good municipal bonds for clients now. Very difficult. What that tells me is there's a lot of upside um, in the municipal bond market. And so we're telling our clients preemptively right. to start considering buying munis in the state that you're in. Always keeping it in mind that you got to uh, look for, you know, triple A, double A munis. But Mark, but do you see my point, though? It's kind of ironic that at the same time we're debating a, an infrastructure bill. If we go ahead with these tax increases, you could get this huge possible infrastructure boon anyway, because money will be pouring into the municipal bond space. I mean, I, you know, it, it kind of would work to unofficially achieve some of those same goals, albeit in a really roundabout way. Right. But I don't think that this is just the I think this is the beginning of higher taxes. I don't think this is the end. Um, so if you are in that camp that taxes can just go higher, historically, they're really low. In 1944, top marginal rate was like 90 percent. You know, we've got a lot of uh, possible uh, rates to go, especially if you see out of Washington that there's an appetite to continue to tax millionaires. And so if that, as long as that's the case, I would say that munis are a great place to be in this environment. All right, Jason. So if 90 percent is now, uh, you know, on the table. <laughs> Yeah, I, I am well, curious. I mean, how, the how thing is, 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 no one paid 90% because of the deductions. Go ahead, and, yeah. And you should also remember that we didn't even have an income tax on a regular basis until 1914 uh, in this country. And I, I think we have to be really careful uh, with the financial engineering from the federal government. Uh, the, the, the tax code is uh, clocking in around three and a half million words. Uh, the Bible's about 800,000 words, Old and New Testament. I think we're I think we're being a little too cute by half. Uh, I think we should stop meddling as much as we are. We know what we want to achieve. We, we do have to pay for it, of course. Uh, but I think the more complex these systems get, um, the, the more likely it is for capital to go on strike. Yeah. Uh, and you saw that in the late 30s. And, and I'm afraid we might see that again next year. 
if we, again, get too, um, get too complex in what we're trying to achieve. That's all well and good, Jason, but if you, let's say I wanted to bet on the side of it's just going to get more complicated because that seems to be just what yeah. happens and more and more layers. So real, real quickly boil it down. You're talking to, you know, people about where to put their money in the market, maybe sectors, but strategies. What would you say is now your best advice as to kind of how you can take advantage, if you want to put it that way, or, or whatever, of, of this evolving environment? Well, well the, big, the biggest changes are not, in my opinion, not just uh, capital gains, but also a, move, a movement back towards a worldwide tax system, which would have a big impact on tech, a deleterious effect on, on, uh, on technology and healthcare. Um, my own opinion, we're telling our clients finally, is just there is a lot of real estate between now and when this will actually get passed, which will probably be before Labor Day. Uh, so I wouldn't be making a lot of moves right now. There's a lot of moving parts here. Yeah. There's a lot of negotiations to go. Uh, but this is a potentially very big change. Yeah. And Mark, I know you're not really saying 90 percent, but I mean, it, it's we're, you know, if that's the seal, I'm just saying you're right. There's a we could go. We could keep going higher. But, um, you know, uh, anyway, we'll leave it there. Joe well, and Mark Smith. We are, historically speaking, we are some of the lowest rates in American history. So if you just 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 Google and see where where tax rates have been, you'll see that for a fact. And so in an environment where there is no political will, to uh, keep taxes low, you know, you always have to, have, as an investor, be aware of that. Yeah, I understood. Mark Smith, Jason Trenner, thank you guys both. Appreciate it today. As the top issue, although stocks are climbing back into positive territory, higher taxes is making J.P. Morgan less bullish. For the firm's suggestions to clients, head to cnbc.com slash pro. Coming up, we'll talk about the crypto collapse, Bitcoin below $50,000 for the first time since March. Regulatory pressure and the potential, uh, potential for a big tax hit are dampening sentiment. Are we setting up for another 2018 slide? Plus, if you're looking for yield, you may want to head to the mall. We'll explain the exchange is back after this. This is The Exchange on CNBC. Muni Money is sponsored by BAM. Ask your investment advisor about BAM-insured Muni bonds. When the market is unpredictable, BAM gives you certainty. In the face of market volatility and illiquidity, BAM-insured municipal bonds deliver default protection, value preservation, and a durable rating. BAM. Build America Mutual.